What is up, ladies and gentlemen? My name's Afan, and today we'll be watching the 15th episode <laughs> of Avatar The Last Airbender. This one's known as, actually, I don't know what it's known as. What is it known as? It's known as The Tales of Ba Sing Se. So, we got introduced to Ba Sing Se last episode it seems like a very ominous place a very secretive place lots of walls you don't know what's going on okay we kind of know what's going on after that episode that is they don't like the war they don't want to talk about the war they they want to keep their uh economy intact they want to keep peace they want to keep uh people from panicking and so they are you know keeping any and all news of the fire nation and the war out as you know, as best as they can, really. The Dai Li is in place for that specific reason. And I did not forget, by the way, to put the Appa shirt on. And like I promised, I will keep putting this shirt on until we find Appa. Now, there's a dilemma, by the way, because I ordered a new shirt for Iro because I wanted an Iro shirt for a very long time and I couldn't really find a good one. And then I saw this and I was like, ooh, actually, this makes sense. I actually saw this shirt before i bought it when i was buying these shirts i saw this shirt but at the time i was like uh, you know and now i saw the same shirt again and i was like oh that makes sense because i didn't really know what it meant before starting the show now i do so i actually ordered that shirt it's gonna be here in a couple of days so probably by next episode i should be able to put it on but there's the dilemma if appa is not found in this episode do i keep wearing this shirt or do i try the new shirt <sighs> decisions decisions <laughs> now i think i'll keep wearing appa's shirt because until appa is found that is because you know come on it's appa like we love ira but it's, it's appa come on like it's appa he's literally carrying team avatar last episode was a pretty good one a dark one judy out of nowhere just disappears chains in just yep that's the word, changes into a different person. And they're just all like, nope, it's, it's the same person. Yep, it's the same person. And I'm like, don't you dare tell me this is the same person because the person earlier was so much cuter. Not that this one isn't, but the, she, the first Judy was, she was kind of hot. <laughs> but yeah, they gotta find Appa. They have got to get the news of the war to the king, the Earth King. And they've got a lot to do, and they're kids. So how are they gonna do it? I don't know, I'm excited to find out. So let's get into the episode without any further ado. Earth, the tales of Ba Sing Se. Book two, the tale of Toph and Katara. Eh? Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Loopy Lupe. Don't remind me. <gasps> I'm ready. You're not going to wash up? You've got a little dirt on your... Everywhere. <laughs> you call it dirt. I call it a healthy coating of earth. <laughs> a girl's day out. Do I have to... <laughs> Yeah, if someone replies, do I have to? Yeah, it's not gonna be fun. Day spa? Sounds like my kind of play. Mm, definitely does. Whatever you say. Boomer. <laughs> as long as they don't touch my feet. Why? Because they're like really sensitive and all they're doing is touching feet. <laughs> well, that wasn't so bad. I actually feel girly. I was gonna say, she looks so different. Wow, great makeup for a clown. There you go. Those girls don't know what they're talking about. I'm not looking for anyone's approval. She looks good. You're so strong and confident. But I do prefer her without the makeup. And Katara as well. She doesn't look too good in the makeup. You're really pretty. I am? Yeah, you are. Return the compliment, but I have no idea. <laughs> yeah. Katara. Ow. <laughs> the Tale of Airo. Okay, so they're gonna... Oh, okay. The Tales of Boston say I get it now. Right, it's cool. No, it's not a romantic picnic. But it is a special occasion. 
I'm in Zuko going on a picnic. The moonflower likes partial shade. Hey. Iroh being well, Iroh. He's from the vine. Hitting in the <laughs> <laughs> soldier boy. Oh, he's got a soldier toy. Game soldier boy. <laughs> Comes marching home. Comes marching home. Huge! <laughs> oh, that was a really heartwarming song, you know. Because I don't know how to play. Well, I was gonna say football, but that's the best to admit mistakes when they occur. I'm through with you kids, the window won't be the only thing that's <laughs> not this time. <laughs> not <Run>. this time. <laughs> <laughs> I was pretty quick for a big guy and old. Give me all your money. <laughs> with that stance. <laughs> Can be easily knocked over. I was gonna say you picked the wrong guy to mug. With a solid stand, you are a much more serious threat. All right, Iro teaching people how to steal. Much better. <laughs> you do not look like the criminal type. I'm just confused. You really think I could be a good masseur? <laughs> This is so great. Tea. The shirt is actually related to tea. Wait, where's Zuko? Is he? Is he on a date? Well, he said it's not romantic, so. Happy birthday, my son. Oh. Yeah, I could have helped you. Leaves from the vine. Little. Soldier boy, come marching home, brave soldier boy, comes marching home. Oh, fuck. <sighs> whoa, 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 what was that? In honor of Marco, who's that? Is that the uh, actor? He died? Ah, oh, boy. Um, after finishing the show, or... Okay. Yeah, I'm not sure what to make of this. He, he, my, uh, first of this, this is the voice actor of Iroh, right? Because we didn't really get to... Meet his son, so it can't be his son's um, voice actor. If so, doesn't matter. May he rest in peace. Yeah. Hmm. The tale of Ang. Man, fuck off. What? I should have done that at the end. I, it's completely thrown me off. <sighs> Fucking hell. Oh, what? Are you looking for Appa? He won't give me any money because the kids stopped coming. And the kids won't come because my zoo's nasty and broke. <laughs> Cabbages? My cap! <laughs> oh, forget it! <laughs> okay, I get it now. I get why they didn't do that at the end. Okay. This was so much easier in my head. Yeah, well, everything's easier in your head. <laughs> that calls all animals, not just Appa. <laughs> cabbages. I saw a shirt for my cabbages as well. There's a lot of animals. 
And he's got him. He built like a new zoo place. <laughs> Kangaroo? Well, Mixed with what? Rabbit? Fluffikins? What are you doing down there? On second thought, you should probably stick to saving people. <laughs> a tale of soccer. Let's see what he's up to. Of course it's girls. Sleet her <laughs> <sighs> Poetry. Ah! <gasps> I am so sorry. Hmm. Fuck me in the rear. <laughs> Wound up here. Five, seven, then five. Syllables mark a haiku. Remarkable oath. They call me Sokka. That is, in the water tribe. I am not an oaf. Himself tall. Hmm. <laughs> Art with your fancy little words. This is not so hard. Mmm. A bit weak. None calls it easy. I calls it easy. I calls it easy. I'll paddle yours too. <laughs> uh, I was gonna say he's turned into Smeagol. In fall, the clinging plum drops. Always to, to be, be squashed. Squish, squash, sling that slang. I'm always right back at you, like my boomerang. <laughs> boomerang. Well, he is over a hundred years old, so. <laughs> That's right, I'm Sokka. It's pronounced with an Akka. Young ladies, I rock ya. No. <laughs> uh, that's one too many syllables. <laughs> Where did he come from? Poetry. <laughs> it's kind of like a rap battle. <laughs> oh, Tale of Zuko. Right. Uncle, we have a problem. Problem. She knows we're Fire Nation. Didn't I say don't look? <laughs> Seems to me she has quite a little crush on you. Hi, Lee. My name's Jin. Jin Kazama. I was wondering if you would like to go out sometime. He'd love to. <laughs> Uncle Iroh. <laughs> Zuko is like, but me. That Zuko? You look so cute. <laughs> to do my hair. <laughs> Looks better with the messy look. Not the Lionel look, though. For dessert. She is not my girlfriend! Say it louder, why don't you? You have quite an appetite for a girl. <laughs> Should have stopped that quite an appetite, you know. Part of this traveling circus. Well, you could call it a circus. The Fire Nation Army. <laughs> I juggle. Now she's gonna ask you to juggle. How to juggle. There it is. Show me something. Wait, what? What was that? You know, music. I haven't practiced for a while. Lamps make the water sparkle and reflect in the pool in the most beautiful way. Is this going to be one of those things? Leave it. They aren't lit. Oh, fire ting, huh? Close your eyes. I... I thought it was going to be like one of those things where she is like a setup. She's going to take her here, take him here and then like ambush him or something. Cause you know he said she's she knows I'm Fire Nation or whatever. Now you can look. Oh wow! That was quite stupid, you know. Happened? How did they light? And people could have seen you too, Zuko. Hey, let's go. I brought you something. It's a coupon for a free cup of tea. <laughs> I have something for you too. Hmm. <laughs> What's wrong? It's complicated. Yeah, when she finds out he's Fire Nation. I know. How was your night, Prince Zuko? <laughs> Great! It was nice. <laughs> there it is, lovely. <laughs> oh, the tale of Momo. Hmm, let's see. 
Appa. This isn't real, right? I think he's like dreaming or something. Yep. It looked like he was. Hey, there's Sokka's purse, the one he bought in the Earth Kingdom. Well, they're still in the Earth Kingdom, but you know what I mean. It's just a cloud. Yeah. Yeah. It's just a tree with the tree branches. I'm like, he's got horns? Mm -mm. But you can fly, though, so it's all good. Why doesn't he fly? Why is he on the ground? Whoa. Oh, no. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh. <laughs> Dancing monkeys. Oh, no. I got him. Oh, no. I got Momo, too? I still got the fur. Oh, because... It's his perspective. <laughs> Is he gonna open and then they're gonna attack him? Oh no! Oh, those are little cubs, I think. Oh, okay. Or are those the grown... No, no, they're taking him to Appa. They're taking him to Appa. Paw. Ah, paw. <laughs> Yeah. I like how they're just standing over there watching him. Oh, <laughs> uh, that was a sweet episode. Ooh, okay, so they did, uh, fuck, they did, like, stories of, uh, or tales of them, each one individual, well, no. Half and Katara together and the others individually. Iroh's one was... Uh, yeah, ours one was pretty good. It was uh, unexpected. Uh, almost got me. Almost. Couldn't get me to shed a tear, though. I kept it up here. Didn't drop. <laughs> and uh, yeah, in memory of uh, Maku, Meiku, I'm not entirely sure how to say his name, but I'm assuming that's Iroh's voice actor. Let me know more about him. I would like to know. He died. Was that when you know uh, did he finish avatar or are they gonna replace him with someone and then they they tied that in with his sons you know uh, him singing and uh, it's just it was already a very emotional scene and that song especially when he sings it i mean it's so it really gets into feels because here's the thing like when he was singing it to the kid i felt like i was gonna cry you know like i was laughing because i knew it was you know it wasn't like a emotional scene but i did feel something inside i was like that's a really sad kind of song you know a emotional song and then they do that song on top of an actual emotional scene and you're like Ooh. Uh, they cut it off a bit quick. If they'd continued for maybe five more seconds, I think I, I, I would have been out. <laughs> it's pretty, pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. Also, if they had done it at the end, I think I, I might have then been a bit more emotional as well because the, then they moved to Aang and then a couple of things happened and so you started to sort of forget because they introduced a bit of um, lightheartedness to it, a bit of uh, comedy, and that all obviously always helps. So Aang's still looking for Appa. He hasn't really found him yet. Momo has found a paw print of Appa, so that's something. Katara and Toph going out having a girl's day out. Oh, that was pretty cool as well. You know, you, you do you. Do whatever you want, really. Wear makeup, don't wear makeup. But uh, I personally prefer no makeup. That's just me though. Not not on myself. I'm talking about girls. I don't obviously I don't wear makeup, but I'm talking <laughs> girls, you know. I don't know. I maybe it's just that idea I have in my mind that you should be yourself, you know. But it, it is what it is. Like I said, you you do you, you know, it's not about me. It's about you. So whatever makes you comfortable. Tough clearly wasn't comfortable in the makeup, and that's fine, you know. Honestly, I thought she looked better without the makeup, but again, that's 
Anyways, I feel like I'm just going around in circles now. <laughs> Asaka's was pretty cool. <laughs> of course, he's surrounded by a bunch of girls and then he's doing a bit of rap battling. Not exactly, it's haiku, but kind of similar. Like a poetry competition thing, you know? <laughs> Zuko. Now, Zuko had a pretty good story as well. I wasn't entirely sure why it was that he didn't want to continue that. I mean, I have a couple of reasons. One, and I think the the one that I consider to be the actual reason, which is he's Fire Nation. If she finds out he is Fire Nation, things might change a bit. But then again, this is bossing say people don't even know about well anything. Let's be honest. So things might not change. I don't know. Second, May, June, July. No, May. The character May. As he says it's complicated so i'm not entirely sure what does he mean by it's complicated you know fire nation ting or may ting <laughs> not like that may separate space ting okay <laughs> not together <laughs> yeah um i'm gonna end it right here i would like to know more about the whole iris situation though i'm not entirely sure how or what happened there other than the fact that he passed away and may he rest in peace absolute legend and a legendary character he gave us as well man i talked about the bloody iro shirt at the start and i'm probably what oh no do i wear that shirt or do i keep wearing this shirt because i have to keep wearing this shirt because Appa's not back yet but then that happened with iro and i feel like it's maybe i should it would have been actually real nice if I had worn it here, but I mean, obviously, I didn't know what was going to happen here, so. But yeah, I mean, you'll, you'll see the shirt. It's all right. I think I'll keep wearing this until we find Appa. I think Appa deserves that. At least. At least. At eight. All right. It was a pretty cool episode. We got to see individual stories. Loved it. Loving this show so far. I hope you are as well. Thank you for watching. If you're new, do subscribe. I have many different shows and, you know, movies and stuff going on on the channel already. And I will be doing more as well. A couple of you have, a few of you, well, actually several of you have mentioned Squid Games on Insta and Twitter and stuff. I'm going to do it. I, I'm, I'm going to do it. And yes, I'm going to do it in Korean as well. A lot of you are saying, don't do English, you know, do Korean with the subs. Yeah, I'll, I'll do that. I normally watch, you know, when I watch a show like that, I'll watch it with the original language, whichever it was shot in. So yes, Squid Games is coming very soon, but I just need a little time to sort of make room, you know, for it on the channel. Right now I'm packed. After I finish a series or two, then I can start it. But I'm definitely, that's on the radar. You can stop messaging me about that. You can message me about other stuff, but about that, I got it, all right? The first 15 messages were enough, <laughs> believe it or not. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, have a nice...